Presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, what's new in ProPresenter 7.13? Here's a hint, it's pro content. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you join the over 10,000 others who have already subscribed and uh, clicked the bell icon for this channel so that you can be one of the first to know about the new tutorials I put out. So this is something that Renewed Vision just announced back, well, I'm recording this on a Tuesday. It was the previous Wednesday that they announced this. And so you might be curious, what is pro content? What's the pricing structure? Stuff like that. So I thought that we'd head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter 7.13, which is the latest beta. And really the biggest difference in this is, first off, you'll see this up here in the uh, kind of towards the top right a bit. Pro content is what that says. And then lower left-hand corner, you'll see in the media area, it says pro content. Those are the biggest changes that they've made. They've, of course, done some bug fixes. They do those basically every time that they release new features. They also do bug fixes. So uh, that's there. But I thought that I would show you a little bit about this. So let's first click down here, and you'll see that we have, under pro content, we have featured... Here, let me, I might just, since this is the point of this tutorial, let's make it a little bit bigger. Notice that when you mouse over it, you get previews of some of the different ones that they have here. And for motion graphics, same thing. Uh, there's some that are for Easter specifically. Then there are other categories, new, popular, and free. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't pay for anything else, don't worry. They've got you covered, and there's some uh, cool free stuff as well. So if you don't like it, don't use it. But if you find something that you think you would use, free is the right price for everyone. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you. They also have countdowns and some other cool stuff. If you go to ProContent.RenewedVision.com, you can do a search for stuff that you want. So I'm going to just do a search for Easter because I'm recording this in March and Easter's quickly approaching. So we do that and look, there's all kinds of stock video. So this might be helpful uh, for uh, something that you would have like uh, referring to uh the crucifixion, etc. And there's, you know, just flowers if you wanted to be more like that. Then we've got series graphics, etc. Now, one thing that um, you might not know is we've got intro videos, we've got pro presenter themes as well. So if you click on those, you can mouse over. And notice that they all have this uh, here, right underneath here, there's a logo that's like a blue version of the ProPresenter logo. So that should help you know that, hey, this is in fact a ProPresenter theme in addition to it being listed up here. So you can download these, and double click on them, and then they will import into ProPresenter. So that's... Uh, pretty cool feature there. Notice that as you're mousing over it gives you previews of the different kinds of things that you can do. We can also uncheck that and go to, let's see here, I think designs up here is what we want. So let's click on an Easter design and let's just download this, shall we? I have the full access to the whole thing, so uh, we can do that. I'll show that in Finder. Double click on it to unzip it. And this does work on Windows too. I just happen to be using a Mac. And let's open up 
that series here. And notice that we've got JPEGs here. So if you like it the way it is, although that date is a little dated, um, you can go through and just use what you have without doing any changes whatsoever. But we also have this. And this is a Photoshop document with all of these in here. If I opened it up in Photoshop, there's different layers. So I could change very simply the date to 2023. Maybe I want to put the month and day as well. Whatever I want to do, I have that as an option too. So you might be thinking, wow, uh, they've really done a lot because there's over 50,000 pieces of media in pro content. How did they get all that happening without us really knowing what was going on? Well, the answer is they bought Visual Media Church. And so a lot of people were saying, oh, I... I can't upgrade to pro content because I already have a couple of them. One of them is Visual Media Church. No, no, you will, then you will have pro content because it's the same thing. So you'll notice when you go to visualmediachurch.com, it basically says, hey, um, pro content is us. We were bought by Renewed Vision, and now we're taking over. So that's an important thing to know. Um, also... Remember how I downloaded the packs? You can download all these and import them into whatever version of uh, ProPresenter you're using. So you don't have to wait for the beta to come out as a release version if you're squeamish about that. If you have a version that you like and you don't want to upgrade right now, that's fine. You can just download it and import the stuff into ProPresenter. No problem, but... If, on the other hand, you have pro content, you can just, once you log in, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Go to Settings, Pro Content. It also might be Preferences and then Pro Content, depending on the operating system you're working on. Click on Pro Content, and you'll notice that there's a place to log in. So you can make a login for your church and then log in here and then you'll have access to at least the free content and then if you upgrade to the paid version then that is an additional fee but you'd have access to all this just like I do right here so like if I wanted to click on this and then I can choose what resolution I want to bring it in I'm gonna bring it in as HD but you'll notice that 4K, double wide, and triple wide are also available. And I can choose what playlist that I want to bring this into. So maybe I'll just uh, add a new one. And I'm going to call that, yeah, let's just call it Title Remix. That's good. And download. And I'm on a pretty quick... Uh, Wi-Fi here, so this should do very quickly, but do keep in mind that if you don't have a very fast download speed, then this might take a while to download these. Um, so that's everything that you can do, and you'll see that I'm almost done. Uh, all the things that you can do with ProPresenter 7.13 and Pro content. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, quick. Give me your name and email address, and I will make a login for you for free so that you can take that at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.